Okay, in this video I will install Acros Personal Edition version 5.5 .5 and I will document the process. So I'm starting with uh, a virtual machine in which I have uh, 15.6 gigabytes of uh, disk space available and uh, it's a Windows 8 setup with uh, very few programs installed so I have about uh, 10 of them only very basic programs like uh, Microsoft Office and Firefox and so on and uh, everything was installed on uh, 20th of October so everything that will be added today will come from Acros so I'll first start to copy the zip file that I downloaded from uh, the Acros site Okay, it's here, so it's almost 900 uh, megabytes, and now I will uh, extract its content. Okay, so now I have uh, the content of the zip file extracted, and obviously uh, these uh, two files, where well, the zip file and uh, the extracted content, affect. The, the available uh, disk space but at the end of the install I will remove these files and I will empty the recycle bin so the results will be comparable. So now I'm ready to start the actual installation of Acros but before that I will use a stopwatch so I will start the stopwatch now and now I will start the setup. It's an unknown publisher, yes. And next, we'll use English. And I have read the legalese. And again here, next, I will use the standard installation, next. I don't have a license key, so I will use demo license and I will install this option here, next and now it's uh, starting ok so now we are in the SQL Server 2008 setup so we have to wait SQL Server is still busy doing its things. So now 10 minutes have elapsed since we started the installation and it looks like SQL Server is uh, soon ready. Okay now something is happening and I'll reply here next and now Acros is uh, being installed. Okay, so welcome and next. We'll accept the default and install. Okay, now the installation is completed, finish. And it's still continuing something is happening, don't know exactly what okay now I'm answering next and I will select a uh, few languages let's say Finnish and French in addition to English and now I will start and again something is being extracted here my disk space is shrinking like there's no tomorrow and by the way my stopwatch already stopped because of the intense activity generated by Acros 
a few minutes ago so it's dead. Now accuracy is patching, whatever that means. Let's check our disk space. Okay, 10.4. And now I can log in to the standalone personal edition. Again, some configuration. Okay, now I'm ready. My license will expire in 39 days. Continue. Okay, so it looks like uh, we're ready. So it's uh, 23.21 and uh, the ACROSS installation is ready at last. Now let's see our disk space. We need to delete the ACROSS zip file. Maybe I'll close ACROSS and perhaps now I can delete this file. Yes. And I will empty the recycle bin. And let's update the disk space. So I now have uh, 12 gigabytes of free disk space. And uh, when we started, uh, I had 15.6. Uh, so the net consumption of this space was 3.6 gigabytes. Just in case I will reboot, restart. Okay, now I can log in to my account. Let's check our disk space. So we now have 12.1 um, gigabytes. So the net consumption was um, uh, 3.5 gigabytes. Now let's go to programs and features here and let's sort by installation dates. So we can see that uh, ACROSS itself was installed and it's about uh, 4 hundred megabytes of data and then there are six Microsoft SQL Server items that consumes in total about uh, 50 megabytes so in total it's uh, 450 and uh, this means that uh, there's um, more than three gigabytes of uh, unaccounted for disk space so let's have a look at it if we go to C and uh, program files and Microsoft SQL Server and this across folder here and my MSQL and uh, data here we can see if we sort by size the three huge databases created by across with uh, more than half a gigabyte each so they consume 1.5 gigabytes, which still leaves us with uh, uh, another 1.5 gigabytes unaccounted for. So that's the effect of installing a cross personal edition on your computer. And my advice is to do it on a virtual machine that is to say on a machine that you can easily reset if something goes wrong or if you want to get rid of ACROSS. Thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.